So Paul, you had to wait long enough for it, but finally that first goal in a Hawks shirt. Yeah, at that time, I had a few chances last year. I thought I was giving me stick about missing headers, so I just had to put my face into it and make sure it went down. <laughs> and I don't think there was a player in white you didn't celebrate with. Your celebration took long enough. Well, I mean, what was going through your head after that went in? Yeah, no, I had to run to Rowley in the corner, one of the fans, and then I had to run up to Scotty Munro and Jake Travis on the bench to ah. give them a bit of a move with us. All right, so Rowley, Rowley in the corner. What's in it for you then? What's, what's happening after this goal then? Hey, uh, free valets, free Oh, valets. there you go. <laughs> and obviously, you know, last year the side had peaks and valleys as a team, but is this for you the start, the chance to build on something a bit more consistent this year? Yeah, definitely. Like last year we started really well and then obviously had that dip with all the injuries and a couple of sending offs in there. And then we picked it up towards the end and we've kept the majority of the squad and we've added real quality and hopefully that can just keep us consistent throughout the whole season. And you were playing in central midfield today, but a couple of times you were stepping forward almost alongside Jason Pryor up top and, and linking play with him. Was that by design? Was that something that Gaffer told you to do? Yeah, no, that is by design. We've done it last week um, really well against all the shot and I think we just, because it worked so well, we were just missing a goal last week, so we just have to do it again and try it out. And, and speaking of players you're finding a connection with, Gio put in a great ball you know, for your goal, you played a pass through to him on the outside of the foot to set up Robbo's goal. I mean, how nice is it to have a player like Gio Critchlow outside of you when you're playing in central midfield? Yeah, his pace is frightening. You just know that fullbacks are scared of him. So every time you get the ball and look up, if he's running in behind, you just got to give it to him. And now, you know, looking ahead to next week, a chance for the Hawks to build momentum. Start as you mean to go on. That's it. Build on, start really good here and then keep going and bring it on to Braintree. Thanks, Paul. Congratulations again. Cheers, mate.